Hi everybody and welcome to another super exciting edition of Real China coming up today. We'll be learning about the career of a Chinese star and we'll be checking out the top five movies at the Chinese box office. Before all that, however, I am joined by the effervescent yet still iPad-free Cajun. Hello. iPad-free? I can't believe this. Okay, well, Where's my iPad? I told you last week it's been sold. Oh, anyway, today... You sold it, probably. I, I'm not denying it. Anyway, uh, we're talking about this. a film called, and I think I got it right this week, a hundred, uh, hundred years of a floating city. That is right. Although uh, I really would just long. call it floating city. Oh, that um, sounds really sci-fi. It does. I tell you, what, when I hear the phrase floating city, I think of fortresses in the clouds floating along, yeah. and like Star Wars going on. Uh, very exciting. Well, but uh, I have a strong feeling mm -hmm. this isn't so exciting. Unfortunately, it's well, no, it's exciting. Come on, but okay. it's not a sci-fi. It's a drama, actually, based on a true story. Drama, eh? Yeah. Oh, look at All you. Right. Anyway, All right, let's wake up again. Mm -hmm. um, and who's in it? Someone that I like? Aaron Kwok. Aaron Kwok, Mr. Uh, Canto Pop himself. Yes. What do you call him? Funkylicious? Funkylicious. Okay, yeah, special word just for you. <laughs> and uh, w uh, lovely ladies in it at all? Charlie Young. You oh, know from her? Windblast. Oh, very good. That's right. You've Thank done you. your research. Well, I just I saw it. I have seen Windblast. And uh, anyone else? Uh, no, anyone. Oh! Josie, Josie Ho. <laughs> Josie, Josie Ho. She's got a double no, name. It's careful, like Fan Bing Bing. Careful, okay. careful. Oh, don't forget who her daddy is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You're going to be floating down the Yellow River tonight. Oh, anyway, uh, before we get too excited by this potential sci-fi but actually a tedious drama, should mm -hmm. we check out the trailer? Let's. What's your name? Half breed. You're a loyal man. I like that. This is love. This is love. Let go of me, half breed. Thank you for giving me an English name. Don't forget to tell your wife how you feel, or she'll never know. Well, it certainly mm -hmm. looks quite dramatic with the boats and the sea and people talking English. I always like that in Chinese films. But uh, what is, uh, it's biographical, right? Right. Apparently based on a true story. Well, yeah. Although even Mural was based on a no, true story here. That's not true. Come on, that's mental. People flying around. But uh, <laughs> anyway, do tell us, uh, what is this true story? It's about, it's about a Hong Kong businessman finding his roots. I know, it sounds a little opera. Yawn. I know, but... um. But there's some interesting facts. I mean, he came from a poor family and he didn't go to primary school. Oh, so he's, he's similar to you? No, he didn't go to primary school. <laughs> Be nice. Your eyes popped until out. Until he's 20. What, so he had, to, he had to actually sit in the classroom with all these little kids? I know, I can't, that's so weird. Uh, are you excited to see this uh, slice of life uh, drama? I like Aaron Kwok, but I have to say, you know, like, it, it looks a bit depressing. The whole, tr based on true story. I'm thing. sorry, is that the best you could come up with at film school? Looks depressing. I mean, it's always like the trail looks really grey and I mean, ooh. Washed I like out. happy films, but you know, go yeah. Aaron Kwok. Okay, and uh, you're uh, quite a fan of his music, aren't you? I am indeed. Well, you know what? Today's star of the day is actually Mr. Aaron Kwok himself, mm -hmm. which means that very shortly, i.e. in about five seconds, we're going to see his life through the medium of cartoons. Shall we check it out? Let's check it out. Let's do it. In 1990, Aaron Kwok was cast in a commercial for Honda motorcycles, which immediately brought him to the attention of girls in Taiwan. Anyone fancy a ride? Kwok soon embarked on a singing career, which eventually saw him named as one of the four heavenly kings of Canto Pop, alongside Andy Lau, Jackie Jung, and Leon Lai. 
I am the real king. <laughs> Having conquered the Asian musical scene, Kwok then turned his hand to acting. As a result, he was named Best Actor at the 42nd Golden Horse Awards for Hong Kong crime thriller Divergence. If that wasn't enough, he picked up the same award a year later as well. One more, and I'll be the king of acting too. Despite now approaching his 50th birthday, Kwok still remains popular with women across the globe. I'm, 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 oh, wow. Wow. The song is so catchy, <laughs> right? Catchy, you make it sound like a disease. But uh, do you like to sing the songs at KTV? I do. Could you give us a little snippet now? Well, I just did in the animation, but... Uh, uh, Come on, join the groove. Join the groove. Join the groove. It's nice. I'm not a loser. Oh, but come anyway, on. Anyway, uh, well, shall we go to top five then? Well, before now we do, myself. I do have to say that you mm -hmm. do Aaron Cock. You sing very well because you have a very masculine voice. Oh. Okay. Before. I'm not coming back next week. This yes, is just you bullying. are. Okay. Anyway, should we top check five? it out? Okay. Holding steady at number five this week is Full Circle, the heartwarming tale of some elderly care home residents who steal a bus and make for the capital. From heartwarming to heart stopping now, it's a new entry at number four in the form of fairy tale killer, which sees jaded cop Sean Lau uncovering the gruesome crimes of a psychopath. Liam Neeson is pretty much indestructible, but he's not such a big draw in China, it seems. His latest movie, The Grey, which pits the Taken star against a pack of wild wolves, can only claw its way to number three this week. Food. If we don't move and work now, we're all freeze to death. Somebody will find us. They gotta know that plane went off the radar. Nobody's gonna find us. Not here. We figure out what way is south and we start walking. This will be one of those wild stories you tell at a party. <laughs> get up, get up. Don't move. Stay right back at him. Into that tree line, we can better defend ourselves. Get it, go, go, go! Hold on! You gotta be kidding me. We can climb down. If we fall in a river, we got a better chance of finding shelter. It hasn't sunk quite yet. That's right, James Cameron's 3D blockbuster Titanic is still afloat, and it's now made over a hundred million dollars in China alone. I've got everything I need right here with me. I figure life's a gift, and I don't intend on wasting it. You never know what hand you're gonna get dealt next. You learn to take life as it comes at you. When the ship docks, I'm getting off with you.
once again crushing all competition is the Avengers, which sees Marvel's greatest action heroes fighting as a team to save the Earth from certain destruction. They could fight the battles, but we never could. Gentlemen, what are you prepared to do? No offense, but I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> can't protect the Earth. You can be damn sure we'll avenge it. Dr. Banner, your work is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks. Oh, The Grey, you must have seen that many oh, times already. Well, I've seen it once. It's been out on DVD for months here, so I don't oh, know why yeah. they bothered to release it in cinemas. But mm -hmm. I have to say, I was very disappointed because do you know what I was... I'm, all, I'm about to cry. Yeah. Do you know what I was expecting? What? I was expecting Liam Neeson punching wolves in the face for two hours. Yeah. And what I got... Not silliness, entertainment, sure. okay? But uh, all, all I got was Liam Neeson uh, doing a bit of philosophy as he was oh, marching wow, around Alaska. That and then hideous. at the end of the film, he finally like strapped on some knives to one fist and some glass to the other, and he was about to have a big punch up with the biggest wolf of them all. And then you know what happened? Yeah. Fade to black. Well, now you've ruined the whole film for everyone. I have not ruined the film because there is actually a post credit sequence oh, really? where okay. he's defeated the wolf. Oh, oh now stop. I've done it. Oh, okay, dear. question anyway. of the week, please. Well, oh, okay, wait, let's do it. <laughs> Question of the week. Aaron Kwok has won which acting award twice in his career? A. The Golden Horse. B. The Silver Cow. Or C. The Bronze Baboon. Email your answers to realchina2011 at gmail.com before next Tuesday. And good luck. Well, did you not win a bronze baboon, Cajun? What? You are a silver cow. A silver cow. I would mm -hmm. rather be a silver cow than a bronze baboon. Sure, whatever. Anyway, since uh, I am actually like one step above you now, officially, according to you. Silly awards. Well, let's just, uh, before, before we go and before we kill each other, mm -hmm. should we uh, just tell everyone that if you want to check our show out on Weibo, take a look below. Do you know what else is do below? Do do? Email address. Okay. Do you, want, please. do you want to do one more uh, Aaron Kwok song for us? No. Oh, okay, well. I've done it three times already. Okay, well, you did a little dance there. You look anyway. mental. Should we say goodbye? <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye. Okay,